dear students and viewers as you know in our previous lecture we have learned about market equilibrium or we can say determination of price in a free market how equilibrium price is determined with the help of demand and supply of a good and in that lecture i have drawn a graph of demand and supply curve based on demand schedule and supply schedule now without going into detail again to show demand schedule and supply schedule i will directly draw a graph of demand and supply schedule sorry i will directly draw a graph of demand and supply curve to show market equilibrium and then i will make shift in demand curve which will lead to new equilibrium or determination of new equilibrium price determination of price here i mean determination of new equilibrium price with the help of shift in demand curve while supply curve remaining the same i will not make change in the supply curve now i will draw a graph of demand and supply curve as you know on horizontal axis or we can say on x axis we take quantity demanded and quantity supplied of a good qd i mean quantity demanded and qs i mean quantity supplied of a good and on vertical axis we take price of a good denoted by p and this is the downward sloping demand curve based on law of demand which shows an inverse relationship between price of a good and quantity demanded that when price increases quantity demanded of a good will decrease or when price decreases quantity demanded of a good will increase and this is the upward sloping supply curve ss which is based on a law of supply and this upward supply curve it shows the direct relationship between price of a good and quantity supplied of a good which means when price increases quantity supply of a good will also increase when other determinants of supply remaining the constant because increase in price will lead to increase in profits of a producer profits of a seller which is the objective of the producer now this is the point of intersection common point to both demand and supply demand and supply curve and suppose this is point e point of equilibrium and by drawing a perpendicular to horizontal axis to x axis it shows quantity demanded and quantity supplied at this point of intersection equilibrium point common point to both demand and supply therefore quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied and this will be the equilibrium price which we take on y axis or vertical axis p1 this will be the equilibrium price or market clearing price at which quantity demanded of a good is equal to quantity supplied suppose this is price equal to 8 rupees and demand is equal to supply demand is 10 and supply is also equal to 10 units suppose the good in our example is pen and the buyer of this pen he will pay that price which will maximize his utility 
because consumer the buyer is always considered to be a rational which will act on the base of reasoning he will always try to maximize the satisfaction the utility from the good from his given income because his income is limited given on the other hand the seller bejnewala the or we can say producer of pen he will always charge high price because his object is maximization of profit nafa kamana and there will be bargaining between the buyer and seller suppose the seller wants to sell the pen at the price of 10 rupees and buyer is not willing to pay 10 rupees but he is willing to pay 6 rupees now there will be bargaining between buyer and seller and they will reach at some price at which buyer is willing to buy and seller is willing to sell keeping in view their objective that is buyer objective is maximization of utility satisfaction from a good by spending his given income and the objective of the producer seller of the pen is maximization of profits therefore in our example we assume that they will agree to buy and sell the product the pen at the price equal to 8 rupees per unit at which demand is equal to supply 10 and 10 units now if there is shift in demand karo shift in demand karo the shift in demand karo will be in two ways number 1 ya to right word shift hoga या हम कह सकते हैं अपवर्ड शिफ्ट और इट मे बी बैकवर्ड और लेफ्ट वर्ड शिफ्ट राइट वर्ड शिफ्ट मीन इज इंक्रीज इन डिमांड एट अ गिवन प्राइस एट लेफ्ट वर्ड और बैकवर्ड शिफ्ट इन डिमांड इट मीन इज decrease in demand at a given price on this increase in demand and decrease in demand i have given a full lecture i hope you have viewed that and understood that now what are the causes of increase in demand or decrease in demand or we can say rightward shift in de demand karo or backward or leftward shift in demand karo the causes iske jo wujuhat hai wo hai number 1 change in income jab income change hogi to demand bhi change hogi change in income may be change in income may be increase in income or decrease in income increase in income will lead to rightward shift means increase in demand a decrease in income will lead to backward or leftward shift in demand karo showing decrease in quantity demanded and second cause may be change in population population may increase or decrease increase in population will lead to increase in demand means rightward shift in demand karo and decrease in population will lead to decrease in demand means backward or leftward shift in demand karo third may be third cause change in taste of a consumer buyer change in taste of a consumer or buyer will also lead to change in demand if there is more taste for a good it will increase the demand otherwise it will lead to decrease in demand when there is decrease in taste of a good to a consumer and fourth one may be change in seasons climate for example in case of summer season there will be increase in demand for ice cream if there is summer season 
there will be increase in demand for ice cream and in winter season there will be decrease in demand for ice cream means in summer season there will be left rightward shift in demand curve for ice cream and in winter season there will be leftward backward shift in demand curve for ice cream there are other products who demand depends upon the season means their increase and decrease in demand depends upon the change in seasons now keeping in view the causes of shift in demand curve which may be rightward or leftward i will show this shift in demand curve in this diagram in this graph first we will take rightward upward shift from dd to d1 d1 initially we keep the price same that is p1 equal to 8 rupees at the same price the new demand is this is point suppose point a the new demand is equal to is equal to q d one or q d dash equal to suppose from it increases from ten units to fifteen units due to increase in income or due to increase in population or change in season or change in taste now see at this same price the new demand is equal to 15 units quantity demanded is equal to 15 units and at the same price p1 equal to 8 rupees quantity supplied because supply remaining the same this supply curve it does not change quantity supplied is equal to 10 units therefore demand quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied 15 is greater than 10 when there is more demand as compared to supply the price the value of the good will increase price of the product will increase and it will increase and new point of equilibrium will be determined and when price increases when price increases based on law of demand when price increases demand will decrease quantity demanded will decrease quantity demanded will decrease on the other hand when price increases supply of a good will increase based on law of supply therefore and when price increases due to increase in demand and supply remaining the same the price increase will decrease the demand and increase the supply and new point of equilibrium will be attained with the help of new demand curve and the initial supply curve this will be new point that is e1 and this will show equilibrium quantity demanded and supplied suppose this is equal to new quantity demand and supply is same now equal to 12 demand will decrease due to increase in price and this is the new price new market equilibrium price e dash which is equal to 10 because price will increase from 8 to 10 rupees demand will decrease and supply will increase supply will increase from 10 to 12 and this is determination of new price with a shift in demand curve that is right word shift now we can also make a left word shift in the same graph now this one broken downward sloping demand curve d2 d2 now this shows decrease in demand from suppose due to decrease in income decrease in population change in taste seasons which decreases the demand of a good 
suppose from 10 units to this at the same price the new demand at the same price is equal to 8 it have decreased from 10 to 8 units due to decrease in income decrease in population or change in taste change in season as i have told you that in case of winter season there will be decrease in demand of ice cream suppose from 10 to 8 units now when at this same price new demand I will write it as Q D double dash, which is equal to eight units. Now quantity demanded with new quantity demanded, which is equal to eight, and quantity supplied, which is same, because this is the initial price. There is no change in supply, no change in price initially, but there is only change in demand, decrease in demand. Supply is equal to ten units. Therefore, quantity demanded is less than quantity supplied. Quantity demanded is new quantity demanded is a decrease in demand and supply remaining the same equal to 10 units. Now, when demand decreases, supply remaining the same, there will be decrease in price. Because there is more supply surplus and there is depth in demand, there is decrease in demand and supply is greater than demand, the price of the value of a product, value of a good will decrease. Therefore, new price will be decrease in price. This is the intersection point. If you will see this one, the same supply curve and the new demand curve decrease in demand i will show this arrow decrease in demand and this is increase in demand and this is a new equilibrium price this one p double dash which have decreased from eight rupees to suppose five rupees when price decreases when price decreases this arrow show decrease when price decreases, quantity demanded will increase. This arrow shows increase based on law of demand. Therefore, demand will increase from 8 to suppose 8 to 9. Because this was initially equilibrium quantity demanded and supplied we have assumed equal to 10. And new equilibrium current demanded and supply is now equal to 9 because of decrease in price and increase in quantity demanded when price decreases on the other event price decreases quantity supply will decrease based on law of supply we show direct relationship between quantity demanded and supply when price decreases from 8 to 5 8 to 5 rupees it have decreased quantity supply will decrease from 10 to 9 units demand have increased and quantity supply from the initial quantity supply it will decrease from 10 to 9 units a new equilibrium is achieved which shows quantity demanded and quantity supplied equal to 9 units because this is the intersection of new demand curve and the supply curve and this is a new market equilibrium price equal to 5 at which market carriers that is demand is equal to supply this is how we show new market equilibrium or due to shift in demand curve which may be either rightward or leftward depending upon the causes of change in demand which may be change in population, income, taste, season, fashion, etc. I hope you have got it. Thanks.